Hello guys, today we'll be discussing on five basic principles of tangency problem. Five basic principles of tangency problem. Now at the end of this study, you will see how simple tangency problem is. By using this guide, you can attempt basically 70 or 80 percent of tangency problem and go with me as we ride along. Now, pro basic principle number one. The point location. In every tangency problem, we tend to have point location. Now, point location are graph in our tangency problem work. Now, which, whichever tangency work you are given to draw, a tangency problem you are given to attempt to, you tend to see a vertical and a horizontal line. Now, this vertical line tends to, and the horizontal lines, as the point location tends to tell you where to locate a line or an arc or a cycle or whatsoever given shape that you tend to look for. Now let me let's go this way so as you, you understand it a little. If I ask to move 20 millimeter upward and given a certain radius, this is what we do. We come here and then with a certain radius. Any rule of giving getting a cycle now also you can also be uh, uh, be told to move certain distance from the base point to a given point and also asked to move to the left or to the right if you're asked to move to the left and you are asked to put just a little cycle of a given radius this is it you can see it and if you ask to join a point on this, what we call a given distance and ask to join a point at point A. Now you can see that there's a line, you can put the line here, over here. But first, let's go to point, let's go to principle number two. Principle number two states that the tangency lines. Now, the tangency lines are of three types. You can see a tangency line passing through this way. I fool it already, you can see. Another tangency line passing at the top this way, and another tangency line is just between a point and the circumference of a cycle. So you take note of this. Now, also, how sweet this is is in a tangency problem when you see tangency lines, you tend to what you see in the image that is what you represent on your paper or your construction sheet now let's move to point number one you can see if we're asked to join using the tangency line of the first one here we can actually or let me say of the second here joining the two circumference together with the tangent line this way once you hit the circumference you stop and also this way Place it to hit the circumference, not entering into the cycle. Now you can see that this is looking lot like a pulley. So that is why we say in the tangency problem, point location is the first basic foundation principle you need to know because it tends to show you where to place things. You can also put a C here in our tangent line, the C part. You can also say when this, the circumference of this is actually hitting a point at point A, which I marked already. And also at this point also. Now you can see that so many things is coming up between in our point location. This is how we tend to attempt uh, tangency problem the next of the, the the principle is the third principle which is cycles touching each other externally now when cycles are touching each other externally this is what you do you add the cycle the radius of the cycle and the radius of the cycle touching it externally 
Now this is my small cycle of radius 20 millimeter and then the one touching it externally is 32 millimeter. What I what I'll do here is that I'll add 20 millimeter plus 32 millimeter, which will give me 52 millimeter. All I need to do, I'll pick, take my rule and I'll pick 52 as my radius. 52 as radius. I've already done that already, but just to give you a, a preamble of what I did, you see over here, you strike an arc. This is it. You strike an arc. This is it. You strike an arc. Now, also, you come to this other point and you say 32 plus this 32 over here, which is touching it externally, you add it together, which will give you what? Uh, a 64. So you come to your rule, you pick 64. Now, after picking 64, you come back to the midpoint of this. And then you have your arc. You can see it over here. You have your arc over here. Now, you now tend to open to radius 30 millimeter. Radius 32 millimeter. And then you place it at the point of intersection. And then you have this arc over here. Now, the fourth law we need to know is when cycles contact each other or touch each other internally now when cycle touches each other internally this is what you do you minus the side the, the the radius of your cycle which is touching it what internally you can see it over there internally you minus it which you say 110 minus 20 which will give you a uh, 90 then all you need to do is to open to your radius at 90. At 90. I will not be putting it accurately because I've done it before. You can see at 90. You can see. Then also you add your 32. You subtract your 32 from 110, which I which I've done over here. 110 minus 32, which will give you uh, 78. Then you take your rule, you pick 78. And then you place it over here, and then you intercept the arc at this point over here. Now, then you tend to go back to the point at which they meet. And then you open to the original radius, which says 110. Now, the uh, 110... This is my small rule. Let me take the bigger rule. 110, you just pick 110 over here. You can see that. It's 110. Then you place it at the point at which they intersect, and then you see you get your radius. You can see. You can see it perfectly done now you tend to understand this because in every tangency problem the major work you see is law number three principle number three and principle number four because most most tangency problem comes with cycles touching each other externally and each other internally you first you observe your tangency problem and then you tend to attempt it law number five principle number five is tangent arc now tangent arc can come between tangent arc to touch two lines at right angle that's one tangent arc between two between two what two points now between two points you tend to open your radius to point a to point b if the arc is coming at the top, then you strike down. You also place your arc, your your compass at A. You intersect the arc at the point which they meet. You join, creating an arc. You can see it's creating an arc between two points. Now, in tangent arc of two 
lines or of two lines at right angle this is what you do a given radius will be given onto you then that same radius you have you come to the peak here let me say radius 10 i'm using 10 here over here you cut come to this point you cut then you tend to place your pin at this point you cut then you tend towards place your pin at this point you cut then you bring back that same radius radius 10 and then you sweep along you sweep along you are swimming you can see automatically you've gotten an arc at a right angle now principle of tangency things to know about principle of tangency is that you must be focused you must tend to study the diagram over and over and over and over and over again because the image you're trying to produce has been produced by whosoever sketched the diagram so he is only trying to play with your intelligence of using the basic principles of principle of tangency now you have understand the five basic principles of tangency all other principles are just a minor principle of using your compass to pick degrees and also to construct a polygon you can find that in few tangency problem thank you remember to give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if this truly really help you i need you to hit the subscribe button and then you give me a thumbs up thank you for watching and have a blessed day ahead